Starting with a base silver lineup, I'm gonna spend 24 hours to build the best no money spent college football ultimate team that I can. And the key to building this team is going to be the field pass and solo challenges. The season one field pass has honestly a ton of rewards. At some of the later levels, you can get an 83 overall fantasy pack. You get coins every other level. You get a lot of packs. So you're guaranteed to get some players be able to auction them. If you get really lucky, you can get players worth a lot. To complete the field pass, the fastest. I recommend doing your daily objectives every single day. This is free XP. And then just knocking out the bigger ones for those big XP boosts. Now we have a ton of solo challenges to knock out. I'll probably skip Ultimate Team 101. These are the most basic and the worst rewards. The things I'll be paying attention to are Legends, Ultimate Alumni, in case you missed it. Every time a new promo is dropped in the game, there's usually new solo challenges. So in fact, by the time you're seeing this video, there's probably another wave of really good solos that could be completed. I expect to have about 100,000 coins, a lot of unopened packs, and maybe 10 or 11 hours to complete every single solo. So let's get after it. I started with legend solos and just worked my way down the list. There was Marshall Falk, Boogie McFarlane, Pat White, Ray Lewis, and Brian Erlacher. I then moved on to Ultimate Alumni where I knocked out the Mike Evans, Eric Kendricks, Lamar Jackson, and Miles Garrett. And at the very start, it was a nightmare trying to beat solos with all silvers. So I went on the auction house and bought a few budget players as well as leveraged the free players that the game gives you. For example, just for booting up the game, you're gonna get an 80 overall Malik neighbor who can easily be upgraded by earnable tokens. I've already got my Malik neighbors up to an 82 overall. Definitely my best wide receiver and he makes these solo challenges so easy. So I spent my first 8,000 coins assembling this little budget squad here. Grabbed a safety, Michael Richard. And also just for booting up the game, you get Nick Scorton. Still working on getting him fully upgraded. He's at an 82 right now. Now, in my opinion, the best solos are ones that actually give players specifically auctionable ones. Legends gives you unauctionable, which is what BND is. So these weren't my favorite, but Ultimate Alumni looks really, really solid. Good coin rewards, you get tokens, loyalty packs, unauctionable players, and further down the line, you can get an 80 plus. So I really recommend these. Gentlemen, welcome to France. I uh, am so excited to be back in the States and see the Lions this fall. It's gonna be so much fun. And you already know where I'm getting the tickets from, and they're the sponsor of today's video, that's SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day. If it takes a ticket, it's probably on SeatGeek. Just last year, I went to every Lions playoff game and every single ticket we got was off of SeatGeek. SeatGeek takes tickets from all around the web and puts them in one location, the SeatGeek app, to make buying simple. My favorite feature is their ticket rating scale. Look for green. Those are the really well-priced tickets and red, you can stay away from. And of course, I've got a code for you. MMG is $20 off at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with the promo code MMG. So make sure to click that link in the top of the description, download SeatGeek, use that promo code MMG, and enjoy the rest of the video. All right, boys, we are back. It is hour 13. This is actually day two. I wasn't gonna sit down for 24 hours straight. The goal is just how far could 24 hours of gameplay get you? When I do solo challenges, I'm not gonna lie, I'm literally either watching YouTube or making a thumbnail or something. They're so brain dead. So I don't do them at maximum efficiency, but I just like to look at something else. But as it's all said and done, I've finished virtually every single solo challenge. We've got 93,000 coins and 17 unopened packs. I've got the offense scheme trials done, ultimate team 201 conference stories in case you missed it, ultimate alumni legends. All finished. Honestly, we may not need all 24 hours. So 93,000 coins and now all of our packs. This is going to be a massive part of this video. For any pack that actually allows me to sell the players on the auction house, if we can just get one insanely good player, it'll change this entire team. But a lot of these are BND, so we kind of just need to choose what's best for the team. Let's start with the in case you missed it, welcome. It's just an ultimate team tip. Remember to quick sell these though. A thousand coins, I will take that. We are broke. Legends welcome pack, exact same thing. Free a thousand coins. Get a 74 overall player here, it's Alex Orgy. Now he is auctionable. And he actually is selling for like mediocre coins. Depending on how patient you are, this can pay off. And I'm not gonna start a 74 QB, so that's a sell. For 77 overall players, a right guard. Same exact boat. Ah, uh, actually no, I will start you. It's only selling for a thousand. 80 overall, unauctionable. 
That's so good. <clears throat> I was gonna say, if it's an unauctionable player, you really hope it's a position you can actually use. Toriano Pride Jr., an 80 overall corner. Absolutely gonna use him. My goal for this video is to get an 80 overall team. I believe at 80 overall, you can competitively play people online in this game. Are you gonna have the best team in the game? Absolutely not. But you can win a head-to-head -head championship with an 80 overall. Absolutely. 72 overall right guard. I'm gonna throw him up on the auction house. Just praying. Uniform pack. I am not going to lie to you. These can low-key be the most insane money. I know that sounds really stupid, but some programs uniforms are just really rare for some reason. Mountaineers is selling about 1,300. This is not a rare uniform. I literally saw a Louisville Cardinals uniform sell for 25,000 coins yesterday. It was the only one on the auction house and somebody beat me to it. Tight end coaches, this is selling for 9,000 coins. It also quick sells for 9,000 coins. I'll keep this one simple and just quick sell it. Takes us up to 104. This is an 80 overall unauctionable fantasy pack, so I'll have my choice. 80 left tackle sounds nice, so is an 80 D tackle. I have a feeling that left tackle is going to be one of the more expensive positions in this game. So I'm going to go with the left tackle. Keep in mind, in general, offensive linemen are very expensive. And halfbacks and wide receivers, unless they're the best of the best, are not very expensive. You have the choice. Oh, what the? What? 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 Oh my god, I actually just fucking pulled that. I was starting to think that might have been guaranteed. No, this is a, a 79 plus. Oh my god, I just pulled that on the 24 hour spot. Malachi Starks. What is this pack? Holy shit. Okay, wait a minute. Good news and bad news. TJ Watt is one of the best outside linebackers in this game. Malachi Starks, one of the best free safeties in this game. This is an unauctionable pack. These are insane pulls. I'm so happy to have them. But I literally could have sold those two combined for about six or 700,000. It's still insane though. This team is going to be very competitive. We have one of the best edge rushers. I love how they call TJ Watt a pass coverage linebacker, by the way. I am offended by that. Maybe he was in college though. I shouldn't say that. Maybe he was in college. Malachi Starks, oh my God, look at these. I can't believe, sorry, I was in the middle of yapping my head off. 85 speed, 85 XL is so good right now for a free safety. And TJ Watt, the pass coverage guy. 84 speed, 84 XL. Wow, his block power and finesse moves are so much lower than I was expecting. Maybe he was just a different player in college or maybe EA got this wrong. I don't know. But um, damn, those are two insane pulls for right now. All right, we also unlocked the season 184. Now the way that we unlocked these packs is literally just from playing the solo challenges. It wasn't anything fancy. As you knock out solo challenges, the field pass just pretty much levels up. You don't have to pay that much attention to it. Just gotta play the game and do well. You're playing the CPU on like arcade mode. It should not be hard. And that gives us four choices here at a player. I, I'm kind of in a position where I do take Will Howard because I don't have a quarterback on this lineup who's really good. Also, I've been getting smoked by this Will Howard online. This Will Howard is fast. 6'4 with 81 speed. He's got really good accuracies. He's just a really good option. We'll be able to get a good halfback that's not Singleton. Only other person I'd go with here is Kobe Bryant, but Kobe Bryant is kind of short. He's a really good 84 corner. Oh no, I take it back. I didn't realize he was six foot. My bad. I thought he was 5'10 for some reason. He would be a really good option too, but I'm gonna go Will Howard. Ooh, actually, what's less expensive? I think corners are more, I take it back. You can get a quarterback for cheaper. I'm taking Kobe Bryant. You can get a quarterback for cheaper, definitely. I think Cam Rising, 85 overall is like 130K. All right, this is an 80 plus overall in case you missed it. That's a small animation, so not an 80. Shit, that is an awesome pull. We are hot right now, really hot. Jawan Newton, 82 speed, 5'11 wide receiver. Definitely our next best wide receiver right after Malik Neighbors. 83 in the 80 plus, that's a beautiful pack. Here's another season one fantasy pack. This is where we just pulled TJ Watt for the record. So if we wanted to go crazy in this pack too, we get a 79 center. Next pull is blue, it's an 83 left end, Patrick Payton. Next one's green, Caleb Weaver. And we end with a green, shouldn't that have been blue? 
Defense is looking nice. Left hand, right outside linebacker. We got TJ Watt, we got Malachi Starks. This Madden loyalty pack comes from the Ultimate Alumni Solo Challenges. I'll be honest, I have no idea what's in this. You earn another Elite Ultimate Team Player Madden 25, earn one more Elite to claim an Ultimate Team Champion. I have no idea why we were given that, but it is 2,000 coins total. Just kidding, it's not letting me click sell that right now. We'll do it later. We also get an 82 overall unauctionable player fantasy pack. Caden Green, Henry Blackburn, Isaiah Hamilton. Like I said before, offensive line is very expensive. We're taking Caden Green. Mizzou left guard. And we've got an 81 overall ultimate alumni and a stadium pack. Once again, all I'm looking for in the stadium pack is a rare or popular stadium. A stadium that people really want. Get Andre Jordan here. Really like that. For example, I think I think it's Oregon Duck Stadium is pretty expensive. Just because it's a cool stadium. I have a strong feeling this is not an expensive stadium. Yeah, not at all. So that leaves us at 106-120. I think I still have some items to quick sell though. Yep, got some offensive playbooks to quick sell. Let's see if I have any more tips. No, that's it. All right, let's hit generate best lineup. See what the team looks like right now before spending a single coin. We're a 77 overall. So we've got Malik Neighbors, Jerwan Newton, Tristan Lay, Caden Green. No center, but we have a right guard and no right tackle. Got a 72 tight end, no fullback. Defensively, this is just insane. Malachi Starks, TJ Watt, Jackson Woodard, Michael Richard, Andre Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Toriano Pride Jr., Scorton, Patrick Payton. This is solely from solo challenges, packs, and the field pass. We have not touched the auction house. And I think it's about time we do that. We've got 108,000 coins. Let's start with our quarterback and halfback. Super important positions. We want to make sure we're getting competitive players here. I want to be able to actually beat other people in online head-to-head. -head. That's kind of the whole point of this video. Now, we did make the right call. Quarterbacks are really not that expensive. This is also a crazy good price for Seth Hennigan. I think I'm just going to take him right now. Yeah, that's a crazy good price. 44,000 coins, that's almost half our stack, so that is scary, but you gotta have a competitive quarterback you're gonna play online. Seth Hennigan for 44,000 coins, 84 overall, Memphis QB. He's a little slower than Will Howard, so if you took Will Howard, you'd have a bit better scrambling options, but his accuracies are excellent. He's a really solid quarterback, and uh, I'm glad we went Kobe Bryant. I'm more worried about defense in this game than offense. You can score in a million different ways in this game. That's for sure. Cam Seldon for 10,000 coins is gonna be our halfback. That puts us at 53,000 coins, but we've got two of the most important positions now filled with really good players. Cam Seldon's an 81 overall, 6'2", 222 power back with 80 speed, 80 excel, 80 agility, 80 carry. He's not limited Ali Gordon, but he's gonna get the job done. I'm gonna pick up CJ James at center for 3,700 coins. And I'm grabbing Mitchell Mays for 2,300 at right tackle. Just looking for really 77 overall. For these filler positions, I'm looking for 77s to 79s at a solid price. One thing I will say about this game, it's kind of hard to find budget beasts. In previous games, you might be able to find like a low overall player with a lot of speed. That's very difficult to do in this year's ultimate team. Now, as I said that, there's actually a nasty budget beast tight end. Kaliki Leitu, 77 speed, six foot seven, 77 overall tight end for 1,800 coins. If you are very strapped for cash and you need a tight end, I recommend this guy. But he's 6'7", 77 speed? Maybe I'm just not looking hard enough. Fullbacks are crazy expensive. I'm just gonna buy a cheap blocking tight end and put him at fullback. And this is a perfect example. Connor Fox, blocking tight end, 75 overall for 894 coins. You're my new fullback, buddy. I'm not spending 15K just so it literally says fullback. I'm over it. Also, I do need a backup halfback. It's very common in Flexbone to have two halfbacks in. I'm gonna spend almost nothing on this halfback. Here's UCLA's Isaiah Carlson with 75s around the board for less than 1,000 coins. At D-Tackle, I'm picking up 77 overall Dominique Orange. And with 42,000 coins left, let's go check in on this lineup and see where we want to spend the big shmoney. So we're now a 79 overall and offense is finished. The right side of my line is definitely weaker than the left side of my line, but we got this done for cheap. 77s across the board. On defense, I think most importantly, we need a very competitive user middle linebacker. So we're gonna have to spend big money there. Gonna have to get Preston out as well. I'll need another D tackle and I'm gonna need a true strong safety. It is absolutely diabolical, by the way, that flipping the card does not show their speed stat. You've got zone coverage in here, but you don't have their speed stat. That's so annoying. I honestly think these cards with this little cartoon render look so stupid, but that doesn't stop Cade Uluave from being the best budget option here. 81 speed, 81 Excel. 
six foot one. At this overall, it's basically the best you're gonna get. That's a lot of coins though, 22,000. We need a good user, we'll take him. Now we've got 19,000 coins to spread across the rest of those positions. But for now, let's grab a cheap other middle linebacker. 80 to 81s are gonna be a little bit too expensive. So I'll go see what I can do about a 77. Eric Wingo, 77, 77. It's basically 77s all across the board for 2,000 coins. It's a good backup. We did need one more D tackle. I'm gonna take Georgia Southern's Justin Rhodes. I'm gonna drop 10,000 on Greg Rubin. That puts me at 5,842 coins. It sounds like I'm almost out, but keep in mind, I am subbing these players in on top of others, so I could still sell those guys. But I, I actually think we'll get away with this if I can just get a kicker and a punter for like 2,000 coins a piece. I was scared about this though. I was scared that kickers were gonna be a little bit inflated and they are. It's like the best kicker we can get is Vanderbilt's Brock Taylor. So we're still short a punter right now, but we've got a kicker. Let's throw in our best lineup and take this team into an online head to head. We are officially an 80 overall with exactly $0 spent and 13 hours invested. It does sound like a lot of time, but if you do two hours a day, you're done in a week. We did not get a punter, so no punting for us. I mean, I kind of do that sometimes anyway. And honestly, the best news about all this, we haven't done any of the head-to-head -head field pass rewards. Achieving first downs, gaining passing yards, winning head-to-head -head games, PAT field goals, score points. All these are so easy to do. But since we've been in solo challenges, all these are so easy to do, but some of these only track in head-to-head -head games. And we're about to go finally do head-to-head -head games. So I think we're gonna knock out this field pass way quicker. Not to mention, we can knock out a field pass objective right now just by winning one single game of Touchdown Tango. So let's go do that first. It'll also be cool to see how this team competes. Once I get a few more players as well, I can quick sell for some training and add some abilities to TJ Wynn. Starting on defense. Starts with a quick pass, broken up on defense. Nice work. So here's Uluave. Here's TJ Watt. I'm the user TJ Watt. He wants the corner route. Oh, he wants the post route. Good defense. Is that Malachi Starks up top making that huge play right there? I think it's about time we set a blitz. I'm blitzing TJ Watt and Kobe Bryant here. Does he have a corner route? No, he's just gonna test Greg Rubin. It's fourth and 25. He has not gotten a yard yet. I think we gotta send an all out blitz here and just play deep. We are all over that. Malachi doesn't jump, but he did rock the shit out of him. It worked out either way, but I don't know why he didn't animate for that ball. He is press covering Malik neighbors. I kind of like that. I really like that. Malik Neighbors, a beautiful ball from Seth Hennigan. We're first of all already. He's going to quit, and that's our season pass objective right there. He's gone. <laughs> well, the brand new no money spent squad forcing a rage quit already. Look at that. We actually just got a level up and a reward from that, which was coins, finish a touchdown, tango, house rules game, and more coins. Cool. Five wins would be 5,000 coins. That's probably not hard. I'm just not going to do it right now. I'm going to quick sell anybody that did not make the lineup. That includes all the base silvers that you like start the game with. They're worth like one training a piece, but one training is one training multiplied by 30 players. We're poor, okay? Let me just do poor people shit. Quick sell and everybody's 100. Can't forget our daily packs either, dude. Low key daily packs. Like you get lucky enough, it's going to be heat. It's 100 coins to get a 65 plus. Just looking for green, honestly. Holy shit, this is exactly, literally exactly what I'm talking about. So that's an 81, which is disgusting. Holy shit, I'm cracked as fuck. Um, yeah, I mean, he sold for 20,000, 12, 13. I'm gonna put him up for 11, nine. I'll put him up for 11, nine and, you know, just be patient. And all of a sudden, that's a huge upgrade to this team. We could pick up any other 81 overall in a position that we actually need. So they counted that house rules win as a head-to-head -head game win. I think I may actually stay in touchdown tango. Yeah, this is actually, this is the best way to rack up those stats on the field pass and win games. Because it's house rules. People will quit so fast in house rules, as you just saw. Starting out on defense once again, maybe TJ Watt can force a fumble. Yeah, so he went Will Howard. A lot of people went Will Howard. He's good. Ooh, I see that cross or I can't get to it, but 
Damn, almost got a sack, not quite. I did not mean to get on Starks here, but it doesn't matter. We get home. Fourth and 17, more good defense. I was just about to say he's got that deep post. Wow, he hits that on fourth and 17. Nice play. I kind of expect a run here. I'm going to bring Malachi Starks up. It is definitely a run, and I couldn't have played that any better. Holy shit, nice work. First and 25. Let's see what we got. Just take the check down. Here's Ford. Ooh, decent spin, not enough. Another easy check down, this one to Jerwan Newton. We only need more, four more yards for the first down. Keep in mind on this game mode, you need like whatever it is, 25 yards every first down. There's an easy inside zone for Cam Selden. He does get there. Got 25 yards to get in the end zone though. I'm gonna take the check down, make this more manageable. There's seven yards. That could be a touchdown. Ooh, beam. Seth Hennigan. I like Seth Hennigan. He is making good plays. Tried to step up with Seth. I might have had something. I just missed it. 14 to 14. Very winnable. He converted last time on 4th and 17, which is such a bummer. This is going to be a similar play. Goes for whoa. Whoa, why are we getting torched over there? Matthew Golden. We're just getting killed by whoever that is. Expect the run. First and goal. It is. Wow. Does he cut this up? No, he's just gonna walk it into the end zone. Damn. We just gotta keep scoring. It's that simple. He's in man coverage now, which could be nice, because I can hit him with a corner route. Sure can. Ooh. Are you shitting me? What on fucking earth was that? How do you not turn around to get the ball? Oh my God! Good thing it's house rules, cause I can quit too. That is so fucking unlucky, are you kidding me? A drop pass off my back into a horrible ball, uncatchable. Oh, it gives and it takes, gentlemen. We can't win them all. Let's go on to the next one. Well, we start on offense this time. That is quite the advantage to have. I think Malik Neighbors has it. He's got him by just a bit, and it's just enough. Seth Hannigan. Looks like he shook off his last game pretty well. Two-point conversion. I'm looking for Jawan Newton here, or potentially late to. Shit. All right, 14 to zero, good start. First and 25, he starts the game out with a run and it appears to be the correct decision. Second and six, maybe another run. I like to think we're ready this time. We sure are. Boom, third and four. I'm correct and he's, I knew it. Oh, that's not a breakup, damn. I knew that was coming. First and goal, baby. I'm hopping on Malachi Starks. It's an RPO, he does hand it off, and he's gonna take a massive hit from Malachi. Second and goal, peak zone bubble? I haven't seen that in a minute. Not sure where he thinks he's gonna throw, but he fumbles! We're on the football, and I expect him to quit here. He does! Picking up another win in house rules. I guess he's not quitting, he's gonna make us earn it, which I respect. Second and 22, let's see what he brings here. Just gonna take the easy one here into four. Make it third and 13. All right, third and 13, big pickup here. Winko is open. Hey, nice catch. And if we score the touchdown here, it is ball game. So that's the fastest way we put this game away. Play action, leaves Malik. Neighbors, who's still on his feet? Second and six, Cam Selden corner route. Oh, it's actually very open. No, he dropped it. Good defense. Third and six. I'm just going to go inside zone. We know we're going for it on fourth down. We don't have a choice. So might as well make this as manageable as possible. And wow, a really good user play there. We need two yards here, boys. And this game is over. Fourth and two. Going inside zone right at him. Cam Selden fought for it. I have no idea how Cam Selden fought for that. And this game is now over. Oh, I did not mean to keep that. Could have just fumbled and lost the game. Just gonna hit the one over the middle to our blocking fullback. 
who will catch it, move them down to the 12. Now they start this drive on the 12, no timeouts, and they gotta get everything here. Oh my goodness, Malachi Starks! Have it absolutely none of it! And that ball game is over. Wow, he just body bagged a wheel route. That's tough. And that is a level up on the field pass. All right, boys, you get the idea. At this point on the account, the best thing that I could do is continue to play online head-to-head -head games and move the field pass or wait for new promos like new Legends releases, new Ultimate Alumni releases, and knock out those solo challenges as they come and slowly continue to piece this lineup together better and better until we probably had a rare or better at every single position. Right now, I would probably work on my offensive line because my defense is, is really strong and we'll continue to earn upgrades for Nick Scorton and Malik Neighbors as we play. But I think that sums up this video. We didn't need to hit 24 hours at all. We are coming up on hour 16 because there's just not enough solo challenges. But you could have an 80 overall team that can win head-to-head -head online games right now. All right, boys. I hope this video was either entertaining or helpful, maybe both. And I love you. I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.